good, Joe. You back with streets. Freestyle cooking with streets. Thanks for tuning in. Like always, hope everybody out there is staying safe and healthy. Y'all already know what it is. Of course, I got another great recipe video to share with y'all. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If this your first time coming through, please hit that subscribe, like, share, and hit that notification bell so you can keep up with the latest updates on the newest videos and great recipes I love to share with y'all. We get it in here, y'all. Feel me? So let's get it. So today, we doing some veal burgers, y'all. And we're going to do these burgers kind of special, y'all. I got me some ground veal on the board, as you can see. But we're going to do it real nice, y'all. We're going we gonna to do some bacon. We're going to do some brie cheese. We're going to do some avocado. These burgers are going to be off the hook, okay? Real different than the, your traditional burger. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get it in, all right? So, let's do it. All right, as you can see, I got my ground veal on the board. It's about maybe two and a half pounds, you know what I'm saying, to make it in a few burgers. Get it in, all right? And we're about to get the season on up, all right? So, the first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and add some salt and pepper. All right, so we're going to add about, and I always say about measurements, Depending on how many people you're cooking for, more or less, you adjust the seasons to that. Okay, so we're going to make a few burgers, and we don't really have to season the meat heavy. So, we, we, you know, we keep in the street. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put some salt, about a teaspoon. Salt, about a quarter teaspoon of pepper. Next, I got me some chopped minced garlic. I'm going to add that in. It's about maybe three garlic cloves. Got me about two scallions that I cut up and chopped nice. Okay. And I also got two eggs. I'm going to add to it. Two eggs. Next, I'm going to add some Dijon mustard. I'm going to add about a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and mix it up. And I want to be gentle with it, y'all. Not rough. I just want to incorporate it in. Mix it up. Real smooth. Now that I got everything incorporated and mixed up, I'm going to go ahead and start making my patties. As you can see, I already made one. And you want to be real gentle when you make your patties, y'all. We don't want to be rough with the meat. Making some nice size patties. Oh, yeah. I can already smell the seasoning and everything going on with this already. That's what I'm talking about, y'all. And the veal, you know, it's a lot leaner than regular ground beef. But trust me, you'll get a real tasty burger. All right. And, I'm, you know, and I'm telling y'all, y'all going to see different burger recipes on my channel. Because I love burgers. And sometimes I just be in the mood for burgers. So I just want to just go there. That's what I'm doing today, y'all. All right. Got another patty. I'm going to continue making these patties. Come back to y'all. Let's do it. Okay, so out of that, I got about five patties. Real nice. Now, what we want to do is we want to get these patties up in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes, maybe 45 minutes. You know, just to get them a little bit chill so they be real easy to cook on the grill. I'm going to break out my indoor grill, my chef man, and hook it up. You know what I'm saying? And these burgers are going to be popping, y'all. All right, so let's get these up in the fridge for about 30 to 45 minutes. Come back and holler at y'all. All right, y'all. Next, I got my skillet nice and hot. You see it smoking real crazy. That's what I'm talking about. Get a little bit of oil up in there. Got a tablespoon. I'm using some uh, safflower oil. 
And I want to get my onions up in there, y'all. So we got our veal patties up in the fridge on chill. Let's get our onions up in there, y'all. Oh, yeah. Onions up in there. Let's go. And it's only going to take about a minute or so for these onions. We just want to get them cooked to the way they're like, like brown color. Just a little bit of butter, about two tablespoons of butter and some oil. But like I said, depending on how many burgers you're making. Real fast, y'all. Get our onions caramelized, changing color. That's what I'm talking about. That's what we want, y'all. Real fast. Alright, so we give it about another minute. Alright, I got my onions where I want them at. That's good to go for me. Let's get these up out of here, get them in a bowl. Alright, next, what I want to do is, got me some beef bacon. Alright, get the last little bit of the onion up out of there. Got some beef bacon. I'm going to get that up in there, y'all. Let's go! Alright, get our bacon up in there. These are fairly thin uh, slices of beef bacon. I didn't want them too thick. Real easy, y'all. Let's go. Alright, y'all. So I let my bacon go ahead and flow for a couple minutes on one side. I'm going to go ahead and flip it over. Flip the bacon over. Oh, yeah, y'all. Get that nice, crispy bacon. You could also cook the bacon in the oven, too. But since I already had the cast iron out flowing... How we doing it, y'all? Alright. Oh, yeah, y'all. Got our crispy bacon going on. Let's go. Come back to y'all once the bacon is done. Let's do it. Alright, y'all. I got my bacon up in the bowl ready to go real fast. Now, I still got this hot skillet going on. Now, I did say I was going to break out my indoor chef, man. Indoor grill. But this skillet... Yo, I love working with cast iron. It's flowing so good. We're gonna get our we're gonna get our patties up into this hot skillet because it's flowing. You see the smoke flowing. Okay, we had our patties on chill. Let's do it. Oh yeah, y'all. There we go, y'all. Let's go. Let's go. Like I said, I was going to break out the Chef Man Grill, but my cast iron was flowing so good, I had to improvise. Freestyle cooking with streets. And whether you want to cook it on your grill or indoor grill or your pan, you can do it just like I'm doing it right now. And move my oil around. Alright, we're going to do it like three to four minutes, maybe four minutes on each side. Get it popping, y'all. Real quick recipe, real fast, real easy. That's why we moving quick with it, y'all. I mean, my cast iron too, plus the, the fat from the bacon and the juices. I want that all up in my uh, veal, y'all. Oh yeah, I want that all up in my veal, y'all. Alright y'all, it's been about four minutes. Let's do that first turn. Oh yeah, we getting some nice color on that. Look at that y'all. Oh yeah. Here we go. Let's do it y'all. We're going to get at another four minutes or so. Let's go. Alright y'all. 
I got my burgers up on my cooling rack. Okay, now we want to go ahead and start to build our burgers. All right, so now what I want to do first is I want to go ahead and add my slices of avocado on my burger show. All right, because we're going to put these in a the broiler for a couple of minutes just to get a nice little toasty flow on our avocado. There we go. All right, you know, just slice your avocado up the best you can. All right, so you want to get your avocado up on there. We're good to go. And we're going to go ahead and put this under the broil for just maybe a couple of minutes. You know, we just want to get a little toasty flow on our avocado. All right, y'all. Well, I got my avocado up on my burgers ready to go up in the broiler. I got me some double cream brie cheese. You know, soft ripened cheese. This cheese is banging. Y'all got to try it. You know, it got a little bit of nuttiness, a little mellow flavor going on. And we're going to cut a couple slices off. Okay. So as soon as our uh, as soon as our burgers are ready, we're gonna just lay this on top, and we're gonna get this bun doing up. All right, so I'm gonna cut a couple slices off. All right, cut some nice slices off. All right, y'all, then cut a couple slices off. And this is a real soft cheese, and it's not gonna really take too much to melt. So I just got a couple slices off. I got the rind still on it. You know, like that little skin that's on the cheese. I'm going to melt that with it, y'all. And it might get a little runny. It's not going to be like, you know, uh, when you use an American cheese or cheddar cheese where you get that melt, like when you see a burger. But trust me, y'all. This cheese is going to complement the avocado, complement the burger. We got our bacon. We got our onions. Oh, man. We about to hook it up, y'all. All right. Let's do it. Okay, so now I done took out my uh, burgers. Let my avocado get toasted a little bit. I want to go ahead and lay my cheese up on the burger, y'all. And I cut some nice size slices, so I only need like one slice on top of each. You know, you want to get it extra cheesy. I can break it up. Get one over there, get one over there. Use all the cheese, y'all. Alright. It's over here. And let's get that and let's get that back under the broiler just so the cheese gets melted, y'all. Then we can get our bun uh hooked up. Now you can toast your bun if you want. I'm gonna keep my buns regular. So we at the finish line, y'all. Okay, y'all, so that few minutes we're waiting for our cheese to melt a little bit. Go ahead and put some lettuce on our buns. And like I said, you can toast your buns. I want mine regular because I, I'm trying out these new rustic potato um, hamburger buns that I've seen in the market. All right. Also get a tomato right there. Bang. Bang. Now, I got my burgers up out of the broiler. Look at that, y'all. They looking so good. Look at that. With the avocado. Oh, my goodness, y'all. And this is a part type of burger. I, normally, when I make burgers, I make a, uh, some type of hamburger sauce. But the flavor in the veal, the avocado, the cheese, man, you don't even need no sauce, y'all. That's how real it is. All right, so let's get one. Oh, yeah, get one on top of there. We'll take that one on top of there. All right, and we'll go ahead and get our onion that I had cooked earlier. Top it up there. Yeah, get our onion, y'all. Top it up there. All right, get our couple of strips of bacon. Oh yeah, y'all, look at that. Oh, little piece. Let me get that. Get our bacon on there. And now at this point, y'all, you could put whatever kind of sauce, you know, you want some ketchup, you want some sauce on this, but I'm telling you, y'all, the beef is so nice and juicy and tender, and the cheese, the avocado, the flavor in itself is banging. All right? 
So we're gonna go ahead and top these off. Mmm. Mmm. All right, here we go, y'all. Got our burgers ready. Go ahead and slice one up for y'all. Here we go. Boom. Let's open him up. Uh, that's what I'm talking about, y'all. We ready to get it in, man. I'm ready to bite this joint right now. Like I said, you can add whatever condiments extra you want to add on it. But these Ville Burgers with the avocado, with the brie cheese, with the bacon, let's do it, y'all. Alright, so please subscribe, like, share, hit that notification bell so you can keep up with all the latest videos. And I'm sorry, y'all, I don't mean to rush y'all off real quick, but I gotta go in on this. Alright, so let me take a bite. And y'all know how I do. Allah.